Hi, I'm Patrick Gando, artist, writer, illustrator, teacher, dad of four, do all kinds of things, but today I'm going to teach you how to create a modern mindful mantra. Now, the whole history of mantras goes back to ancient times and really concerns itself with repeated sounds and syllables that are believed to bring power um, from other sources. And I'm not going to get into the history of that because I'm not an expert on it, so I'm not the one to touch on that. But what we are going to do is look at modern mantras and we're going to take a mindful approach. Today, I'll be showing you how I created this one. And it says, I am the change. And for me, this is a really important one because when I feel stuck and when anxiety start to creep in, remembering that I am the change really puts the focus on me being the one in control instead of giving the power away to things like years, like, oh, 2020 was doing this to me or 2021, I don't like it so far. I am the change, so I get to decide. It's not easy, that's why I need a reminder. So, so what we'll be doing today is creating a symmetrical design. And when we're talking about symmetry in art, we're not talking about mathematical symmetry. We're not talking about symmetry that is exactly a reflection on one side to the other. What we're talking about is a basic repetition reflected across a, a line of symmetry. So in this case, it's going down the middle, but you might also have a line of symmetry that goes down the middle and across the middle. In this case, I've just reflected a cross because I wanted to bring some different variety into the bottom and I wanted it to wrap up sort of like a wreath. And so I've used florals. You don't have to use florals. You can use any design you want. You may use color. You may use geometric shapes. You may use a pattern of some sort. You may illustrate yourself. Whatever you do though, for this approach, we're going to use symmetry. So when we're using that symmetry, we are looking at basically the same shapes on either side, but because art is a little bit more free than math is, we can play around with the placement. Another way that I've created symmetry is by balancing the colors. And so I've repeated the colors on either side to bring them in um, and really put the focal point here on my mantra that I've created in um, just a Sharpie, a fine tip Sharpie. You can use anything that you'd like. You could use pencil, you can use crayon, you can use watercolor, you can use marker. It doesn't matter what you do. So as we watch through my demonstration here, what you're seeing is how I have written my mantra first. It's the first thing that went in. And once that mantra is in, I can create around it. It's not a bad idea to do a rough copy first, to try to play around with where things will go or to do it in pencil first. Now the trick with watercolor and pen with ink is that some ink will bleed when you watercolor over it. So you want to experiment with that first, depending on how much water there is in your watercolor or how liquid your, your pen is, but if it hasn't fully dried, um, this may impact the overall look. You may get a little bit frustrated with that, but maybe that's a good time to find a new mantra that will help you with that. So remember, we're trying to stay mindful. We're trying to stay aware of the moment, in control of the moment, appreciating the moment, and looking forward to what we can make changes to ahead of us. I would love to see your modern mindful mantras. You can send them to me on social media at Patrick Gain No Art. If you're posting them and your account is set to private and you tag me in it, I won't be able to see it. So either make sure your account is set to public. Um, but if you're not okay with that, uh, that's fine. Just send it to me as a private message and I will get them. And I'd love to be able to share them. So please let me know your story. Let me know what's going on. And uh, let me know if I can send that out to everyone on my on my end. So I hope this has helped you to think about a way to create your modern mindful mantra. I know getting started can be so hard. So having a little trick like symmetry or seeing an example like using watercolor and pen and just seeing it come to life in front of you, sometimes that can help. 
If you're a creative person who feels like you've been lacking in the creative department, if you're a parent who hasn't been able to find time for creativity, if you're a parent who wants to give your kids more creativity, I hope that you'll follow along with me on social media at Patrick Gaino Art, um, and also sign up for my newsletter at patrickgaino.com. Along with that, I'm going to give you 12 free downloads of phone backgrounds or device backgrounds. That's one for every month of the year. And this is a great time to start if you haven't downloaded those already. So all you need to do is give me your email. And after that, you get a link to the download page. I'd love to also see what your download looks like on your phone and which background you've picked. So make sure you're doing that. All right. Send me your modern mindful mantras. Live those modern mindful mantras. I know you can do it. It is unbelievably hard. You can't do it all the time. And that's okay. We're all in this together. So let's just go try. See you next time. <laughs>